What's going on guys, in today's video, I'm gonna to explain to you how I started a software company online without any experience, and you might be surprised at how easy it actually is to do this. Now, I'm doing this video because one of my last videos, I mentioned that I have a software that makes me passive income, and a lot of people ask me questions like, how did you do it, what did you do? And I thought it would be a good idea to actually do a video explaining this, coming from someone that had no experience doing this, and take you through the exact steps I did. So I've got the steps laid out on this bit of paper here. I'm gonna take you through the exact steps I did to get this done in case you're ever interested in creating a software or something like that online. Now, the reason why you might wanna create a software is because there's a lot of money in software. This particular software has made me over $300,000. On average, it makes me around about $24,000 per month. I take out about $4,000 for expenses and I have a twenty thousand dollar profit so there is a lot of money in software and if you know much about software there are companies online making absolutely millions of dollars with software so it could be something you might want to jump in because it can be very profitable and at the end of it all the work pays off and it can be very rewarding. Now make sure you stay to the end of this video guys, so I'm actually gonna tell you one mistake that I did that cost me a lot of money and you don't wanna do this because it will hold you up and it can cost you money if you decide to create your own software and go down that road of creating a software and you know starting to make money online with that software. We're gonna go through the four steps guys, but before we do that, make sure you smash that like button guys, subscribe and tap that notification bell so you know when my next videos uh, get released. So first of all is, you know, you're somebody and you've come online and you kind of want to create a software like, guys, I had no idea what I was doing. I have no coding experience. So the first thing is you need an idea. And this is the same for apps, guys, app software. Um, you know, a lot of it is the same thing. But you need an idea. So I kind of stumbled across this by mistake. So I was online promoting affiliate products. I was always promoting products for people as an affiliate, and a lot of it was actually software. And I would go to a website called uh, munchi.com, or there's some other ones, just don't go into Google and type JV Launch, and you'll find websites that have a list of products, softwares, courses that are about to get launched, right? And I saw all these people making money and I was like, I wanna be on the other side of this. I wanna be the one actually making money. Now, a lot of people ask me, what kind of software do you have? We're not gonna give away much information in this video because we do like to keep a lot of it private, but it's basically a page builder for websites. It's not very popular or anything, and it's kind of like not as good as a lot of them, but it's a page builder kind of thing. So, you know, you build pages and stuff online. but what the thing is guys the idea is kind of the most important thing but you don't have to actually have an idea because the ideas are already out there for you there's all of these people making these softwares right so it's all laid out right there and all I did was like okay I'm promoting these products and making good money, but I want to create one. So I went and found a few softwares that were similar, and I started to kind of write down ideas and stuff like that and kind of functions of what they had. I didn't copy these programs, but what I did is made a version that is better and you know has better features and stuff like that. So getting the idea, guys, is very simple. You don't want to reinvent the wheel. You want to find other software programs and make it better or add different features. Or one thing that I did is when I created this I made it a lot cheaper than everybody else's and we'll talk about that more later on this video about actually getting traffic to the particular software so anyway guys I had this big idea I'm gonna create this software I'm gonna go out and get all these affiliate marketers to promote it for me and make all this money so I had the idea right I want to create a page builder for websites and e-commerce stores and stuff so I had the idea what I needed to do then, guys, was I basically went onto a Google spreadsheet and, or Google document and I wrote out exactly what I wanted. Like I, I was pretending like I was explaining it to a developer, right? Because that's what you're going to be doing in the next step. So I went out and I was like, hey, I want to do this. I want to do this. Here's some examples of what this one's doing. I want to do something similar to this. And I want to do these colors, this and that. And you get very detailed. It took me around about a day, guys. It doesn't take long at all. You don't need to spend a lot of time doing this, maybe one or two days. And I wrote down exactly what I wanted in a Google document. Now, the reason you want to do it in a Google document is because you can edit it anytime you want. And this is very handy when you are giving it to a developer or someone to make the app or software for you. You can edit things whenever you need to edit them. So that was how I got the idea, guys, is to go and find products that are already in 
the industry that you want to be in and basically make better versions and stuff like that, right? That's how you go and get your ideas. So once I had the idea, I was like, well, now I need someone to make it for me because I have no idea how to create code. Now, it's very simple, guys. All I did was go to upwork.com and I put out an ad. Hey, I want to create this software um, and don't actually put the file up because you don't want people to see it. Just say, hey, I want to create a software. This is kind of the idea I have. Message me and I'll give you more details. Literally, that's all I did, okay? And then people started messaging me and I got basically the cheapest guy I could because I was, you know, I didn't have much money back then and I was kind of tight and I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I this wasn't like a big project I planned to kind of work on actually and I went out and got this guy and I went out and I was like hey okay I'm gonna hire you he was pretty cheap and stuff like that and I said how long will this take you he said I don't know kind of like four to six months and I was like okay that's fine we can we can deal with four to six months it actually took me a year because I was messing around always changing things and it took around about a year to create this Okay, now don't be afraid guys, it doesn't take that long to make a lot of software depending on, depending on how advanced it is or how basic it is. This was quite a basic piece of software. So I went on to upwork.com guys and I found a developer to create this software. Okay, that's how I went out and got it created. That's step number two, is I had to go and get it built. Now during the process guys, it's very simple. Um, with the Google document, you can add more stuff, you can take more stuff out, you can do this and that and that and this and they update you and you pay them on a weekly basis basis with Upwork, okay? So that's exactly how I did it. Now, step three, guys, is probably the hardest part. It's easy to come up with an idea. It's easy to get it built because you're not actually building it. Well, I didn't build it. I had no coding experience, but traffic is hard. And a lot of you guys probably know that traffic is hard. And how do you actually get traffic? Well, the traffic source that I use, guys, is completely passive. And I actually did it by mistake. I didn't plan to do it this way. And I make around about $20,000 per month profit from this without doing any work because my team does it. So how did I do it? Well, I had this big plan. I was like, okay, I'm going to go and build out this massive, you know, bunch of affiliates, this big affiliate army. I'm going to hire affiliate managers and I'm going to spend all this money and get all these affiliates on board. Then I got lazy. I really couldn't be bothered doing it. I just couldn't be bothered. I was like, I just can't be bothered with this anymore. This this sucks. I can't be bothered getting traffic. Uh, I'm just going to scrap it, right? So a few weeks after that, I was like, man, I, what can I do with this? And I thought, what am I good at? Well, I'm good at search engine optimization. And I thought, how can I beat everybody else and get people to buy mine? And I thought, well, I'm going to make mine a super cheap price, way cheaper than anybody else in the industry. And I'm going to go and create a website based on this particular niche. So it was make, how to make websites and stuff. And I'm going to basically compare my software to other softwares. And I'm not gonna bag on these other softwares. I'm just gonna say that, hey, mine's cheaper. Maybe you should check it out. Now, the scary thing about search engine optimization, guys, is it takes a long time to rank. Well, it doesn't actually take a long time to rank. It takes me around about three to four months to start getting good traffic. And then about six months, I usually get floods of traffic coming to my websites. And after about a year, it just goes crazy. So I first started making like a couple hundred dollars a month, 10,000 and then 15 and then 20,000 only just recently started hitting that as I grew out that website um, with organic traffic. So anyway, that's the route I went down. I basically created my own uh, website in the particular niche of tutorials and kind of how to use the program and compare it to other programs and all that sort of good stuff. And then I kind of forgot about it after a few months and it started ranking and then I started getting more traffic. So I started doing more articles and I basically took the skill that I had, which was how to rank websites for particular keywords and pages and stuff. And I built this passive income with this software, which I was going to basically ditch and throw away. So the idea was simple, guys. Building it was simple. I didn't touch any code myself. I've literally never seen the code or touched the code because I don't know what to do when it comes to that type of code for softwares, right? And then I built, got the traffic by creating a website based on the product and in the niche. And there's lots of angles, guys. For example, I compared it to other web page builders. I did tutorials on how to create websites and recommended my software. All of this stuff, right? And I'm not saying it was easy, guys. It was actually a lot of hard work involved. You know, lots of late nights doing this, lots of sleepless nights. And I actually just started another blog a few weeks ago where I'm doing the same thing on another software that I have, which it's a Shopify theme. We'll talk about that another time. Um, but it's a very good way of getting traffic. Now, the reason I actually am very happy I did it that way was because 
It's passive income. If I had have gone down the affiliate marketing routes and I would have been like, hey, get a bunch of affiliates to promote it for me, well, we would have made a some money at the start, but then it wouldn't have been as passive as time goes on. So instead of making lots of money at the start and going down, I made no money, little money, then a little bit more money, and now it's going up and becoming a more passive income stream. Now I had another problem, guys. We started to get people you know, um, asking this, asking that, how does this work, there's a bug here and stuff like that, so I needed a support team. So the guy that created the software for me, I said, can you actually do support and stuff? He said, yes, what you need to do is get a, a ticket system set up, because I didn't know how to do that. So I went to freshdesk.com and I set up a ticket system. And I made my, um, so my the guy that created the software, he got me a project manager and he got about three or four people under him. And what they do is they do the support tickets every single week. And I pay around about 700 to to $1,000 per week for them to do all the support tickets, kind of do a few updates here and there and fix a few things in the software when it needs to be fixed. So if I'm making 20, I make around about twenty-four dollars to $25,000 per month, I'm making around about a $20,000 profit at the moment from this particular um, software, right? So that's step number four. Once you actually start to get traffic and people emailing you on stuff like that, you need to create a support system with people who can handle the support for the software. So idea, build it, traffic, and then continue on the support to keep your customers happy. But one mistake, guys, I wanna tell you that literally held me up for months and months on end. So at the start of this video, I said that the software should have taken around about six months to create, or it took around about a year. Why? Because I'm a perfectionist. I tried to make it perfect from the start, and it was the biggest mistake I did because it doesn't need to be perfect. When you actually release it, no matter how perfect you make it, there's always going to be bugs and problems, no matter what. There are companies out there now that have been um, online for years, email marketing platforms, funnel platforms, and they still have bugs today, and they are multi-million dollar companies. So that is one of the biggest mistakes I did, was focusing way too much on making it perfect, and not focusing on just getting out the product to start getting traffic to it. Now obviously you don't wanna create a junk product, and you don't wanna destroy a junk product. You need to test it, you need to make sure it works before you release it, but once you have like kind of all the kinks worked out on your end, and it's kind of like as good as you think it's gonna be, then just release it. Don't try and make it perfect if you have like a little tiny bug or something like that, because I guarantee you there will always be bugs. People are always going to find bugs and you're always gonna to have to update it. And that's why you build a support team so they can run everything, they can update it, they can do all the support tickets for you so you can just sit back, relax, and basically collect money. But the number one thing I wanna tell you guys, apart from that mistake, is the traffic source. If you wanna do this properly, you need to create a traffic source that's passive. So what we're gonna be doing now is actually go into paid advertising. We haven't done that yet, but paid advertising is another great way of doing this. So this software is a one-off fee, but we're gonna be putting on a monthly fee now for one of the packages, and what we're gonna do is just go and run, run ads, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, and we're gonna, doesn't matter if we make money now from those ads, if we're not, you know, it doesn't matter if we're not profitable, because we plan to keep customers for a long time so we get monthly recurring um, income from those people. So let's say, hey, we spend, let's say we spend $10,000 on ads, and we don't make back that $10,000 for three months. It doesn't really matter because we know that after that three or four month period, we're going to start to become profitable with that traffic source. So that's the key, guys, is really the traffic source because you can get the idea and you can build it, but if you don't have a traffic idea, then you literally are dead in the water and it's not going to work for you. So if you're an aspiring entrepreneur, you're interested in getting into software, I had no experience, you don't need it, you don't need any coding experience, you basically need an idea, you don't need to start your idea from scratch, you can go out and basically model other programs that are out there, make them better, have a cheaper price, don't copy them though, that's bad, like don't copy them like straight up, just copy them. Um, then you need to go and build it, you can either build it yourself if you have some coding skills, or you can go and hire people on Upwork.com to build it for you guys, it's really easy to get that done. And then you need the traffic, which is probably the most important part, so I would recommend doing search engine optimization, go and learn how to do that, and also learn how to do paid advertising, because that's another great way to build up your software business, and then build a team so that that can focus on updates and support 
for your customers. And if you want to learn more strategies on how to make money online, guys, I'm going to leave some videos up on the screen, on the right of your screen. Go and check those out. I'll also leave a playlist where you can learn how to make money online and how to start a business online. And don't forget to smash that like button, guys. Tap that notification bell and subscribe for when my next video comes out.